Today we are going to make a goosey stew. The Ghanaians call it agushi. The Nigerians call it igusi. So this is melon seed stew. This melon seed stew is another recipe of Mama Dore's. To Mama Dore's recipe, everything is authentic. Everything is authentic. If you want to see how I'm going to make this, please keep watching and see you soon. This is garlic paste, garlic paste, rosemary, black pepper, dawa dawa, kenyai pepper, curry powder, ginger, salt to taste, carrots, carrots, red onions, spinach, green olives, salmon flakes so this is salmon flakes melon seeds that is agushi nigerian say agusi and i have olive oil here so these are all the ingredients we are going to use to cook and we are outside just the, in my garden here here we are going so we are going to blend the agushi i'm blending the melon seeds i soak it overnight so it's easy to blend ready I will add a little bit of water and stay we cover it and place it aside once I want to blend is the dawa dawa black pepper it's crushed i don't need to blend but i just want to blend it this is rosemary They're all in there so all i need is to cover it if you don't have this if you don't have this grinder you can use the the mortar stone with a small pistol to blend this so all So you see it is so quick and easy but the small the stone mortar and the pistol is also good it can also blend same thing so quick and easy so now I'm going to add about two tablespoons olive oil to check if the oil is heated we have to place in the onions so the next is the onions. So the next is tomatoes. The next is crushed tomatoes and stay I add crushed tomatoes you can use tomato puree and I'm going to leave it to cook for 10 minutes
so this is after 10 minutes The next is the garlic and stay. So I will leave it to cook for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I stir it. So now I'm going to add all the spices, including the one we blended. And then stir it. So the next is the melon seeds, the one we blend. This is the melon seed we blend. So I will leave this to cook. And this is add the carrot. The spinach. Salmon salt to taste a little bit of water okay. and stir I add the green olives so I'm just going to dish it here okay so from here, and then I'm placing it here. And the ingredients you need to make this agushi stew, as listed. You can use any fish of your choice, any spices of your choice, any oil of your choice. And any stocks of your choice. I'm using vegetable stock. Olives. The olives, you can use black olives as well. With a clean bowl, the spot is from the factory. Pour in the agushi flour. Add the stock. Add a little bit water if needed. Stir it or mix it well. Cover the agushi mixture and place it aside with a medium high heat place on a cooking pot pour in three tablespoons of olive oil you can use any cooking oil of your choice let it heat add the onions and stir cook the onion for about two minutes. Add the blended tomatoes and stir. You can use any tomatoes of your choice. After 10 minutes, add the mixed spices, kenyai pepper. The pepper is according to your taste and stir. Cook it for about five minutes. 
and add the carrot. The carrot, you can shape it in the way of your choice or according to your desired shape and stir. Cook this for about three minutes. Add salt to taste and stir. Now open the agushi cover and pour it into the stew. Stir it a little and now allow this to, to cook for five minutes. Cover it for it to prevent it from bubbling on the stove or splitting on the stove. After five minutes, this is how it looks like. Add your spinach you can use water leaves and mix it add the olives for the olives you can use black olives at this point you can if you have a vegan in the house you can take the part of the vegan before you add the fish i'm using salmon flakes And stay. Let this cook for about six minutes. After six minutes, the stew is ready. Serve this stew with rice, jam, potatoes, gari, etc. Enjoy!